Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family. Today I have a whole bunch of, well not a whole bunch, but I got a few new customs from Crony Customs. So I've commissioned quite a few customs off of him. He does a absolutely amazing job. You can find him and his customs on uh, the easiest way is eBay. Because he has an eBay store, so that's the easiest way to get a hold of him. But you can also find him and get a hold of him on Instagram too. But uh, his customs are like no other. To me, there there are other customizers out there doing customs like his, but uh, or I mean, doing good customs, but. Uh, his are some of the best I've seen. To me, they're like an RLC piece. So, the first one we got is going to be a Camaro. I just had to have him do me one. In this paint scheme, last time he did me this Camaro in a Golf. Which... I'll get them out and show them. I keep them in a display right next to me. Display that I'm working on. But yeah, I keep all his customs in this display I'm working on. I'm going to get two of them. One for the Golf. And then one for these. Shark Mouth Fighters. Whatever you want to call them. To me, this is every bit as nice as an RLC piece. Does have an opening hood, which I'm not going to force open or nothing. And I've been working on customs like crazy. This whole thing was completely covered with customs and uh, only got a few left up there to finish up. So. That's why I haven't been posting a lot of videos is because customs just take a lot of time to do. Sometimes you got to wait on decals in the mail and stuff, and that's what I end up doing a lot of times is waiting on decals in the mail. Because I'll change my mind on what I want or realize I need like headlights for this or something and then have to wait three, four weeks to get them. We'll check out the golf that he did. Oh, he's extremely, extremely happy to add some of his customs to the collection. I'd like to fill up a display with a bunch of golf and a bunch of these customs from him maybe even do a couple candy stripers or something but if he's willing to do them then I'll definitely have him do them for me these are absolutely amazing and the rest of them are going to be all golf I got three golf customs like this Ford GT, which I just had to have him do the new Ford GT for me in the Golf. I 
And I don't know if anybody has done the new Ford GT in the Golf. I have not seen one done. I don't think. To me, all his customs are just on another level. A level that someday, hopefully, I can achieve. But I highly doubt it because these paint jobs be uh, the hardest for me to duplicate. And that looks like it would fit right in with the RLC release of all the different golfs, liveries that go for crazy, crazy money now. Like the older Ford GT next to the new Ford GT. So glad to have a couple customs of this quality to represent this casting in my collection. I feel very fortunate. And of course, I had to have a gasser in the golf. Only, I try not to touch any of these because of the Spectra Flame paint on them. I try to only like touch the wheels. Man, I'm not going to be able to pick a favorite today. Maybe some of my viewers out there might be able to pick a favorite out of these, but uh, there's no way I can. They're just too amazing for me even to try to. are all screwed together and he painted that base orange which turned out really freaking awesome you see crony customs on the back and the last one it's gonna be a Porsche Had to have him do me a portion of the golf. And this is a Porsche 917 LH. I almost said LM, but it's an LH. And it looks amazing
Man. I'm just that off. That car is insane. I guess I'll show you the other golfs I had custom from him. Like this Chevy Silverado. And I cores. I had to have him do a custom of my all time favorite casting ever. Which that Silverado looks absolutely amazing. Of course, he had to do my all time favorite casting ever the 1970 Chevy Chevelle. I love to take a real Chevelle and put a wide body kit on it and slam it to the ground and put the big cow induction hood and everything just like this one has. I've never seen a real one done up like this. I'm sure there is out there somewhere, but... What an amazing custom from Crony Customs. I mean, right there, I have six, seven, and I have another one. So I have eight golf crony customs, not counting the hauler, the car hauler. So you count the car hauler, there's nine crony custom golf. I might as well show the hauler since we showed all these golf. There's a car hauler. I mean, just his wheel choice on every one of these castings, everything else is just point on. Detailing the graphics. Freaking awesome. Does that say retro rig on the side? No, it says Rio, Rio something. Oh, Retro Rig Transporter. That's what it says, Retro Rig Transporter. There we go. Nice chrome plate. It's like a black chrome too. Very, very fucking awesome. Absolutely love these things. Long as he's willing to let me commission pieces off of him, I will continue to add pieces like this to the collection. Because a collection of these is pretty freaking awesome. To me, these are better than the RLCs. I could, for the price that the Camaro goes for, this Camaro Golf back here for the price it goes for that looks just like it from Hot Wheels you could have all these plus more and I much rather have all these I just want to show you guys some new customs 
from Crony Customs. If you haven't hit the subscribe button and you like seeing videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let me know which one's your favorite. There's no way I could decide. No way. I mean, if I absolutely had to, I'd pick the 1970s Chevy Chevelle. Because that, that looks like something the RLC should have did, but never did. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.